I read a book about a love that burned. A drop of sun could make you believe in God all of a sudden. And give you something to cling to. Hold it together like band-aids. In April, I watched you from the top of the big rock. You were floating in the red crater, yelling at me. Something important. Something silly. Along the lines of, There's no better time to fall in love in the middle of a perishing earth. My rebuttal was, With spring, a thought is dainty and damp as it unfreezes. Yet you continue to be a splash of sun reflecting off the melting ice. In the town below, at the base of the big rock, the life are the trains, the thunder of mechanical things, like frail mothers pushing their shitty kids onto the school bus, and the birds are hollering. This is what unity feels like. A gentle stirring on a cold morning. The winter people in togetherness, realizing death is over, death has passed. We are now a gold singular upward, like heaven or something. At the top of the big rock I realized I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano, not even a good sunset. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano, not even Joan of Arc. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano, not even a sandcastle. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano, not even that movie about the angel who abandons his wings to be immortal with the trapeze artist. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano. Not even the nicest shade of blue you could think of. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano. Not even Elvis's mouth. I've never seen anything more beautiful than a volcano. Not even a kiss from the growing grass. I admired you from the top of the big rock. Your burning is felt and reminds me of why. Cause you're the sun 
I'm the beat. You're the drum. You're the sea and I've sung. I'm the seed that you sow.